Hi Virgo, welcome to your weekly forecast. Now this is for May 26th until June 1st. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Hmm. All right. Okay, you're feeling dry and weird right now, and um, kind of uh, feeling a little bit disappointed, but you're only trying to be happy. And you want to let other people know that you're, you know, you're not really affected by your personal chaos and personal problems that's been going on right now in your life right now. And you just want to have a lot of good times with your friends, but still, you are feeling lonely and sad okay and isolated right in the middle of the crowd and you feel like someone is acting like very cold and distant and dry you know someone's acting like an air sign around you right now that even though you really want to be with this person or even though you really want to you know like celebrate your love and uh, uh union with this person but this it, it's like the two of you can't really meet somewhere in the middle you're having a lot of confusions. You're having a lot of... Um, it's like you're having a lot of arguments, disagreements, miscommunications. That if you say something to someone, then you will just... You know, um, the other person will just take it as the other, you know, like the other way around. Or they will just interpret it as something else or something like that. And you're already having a lot of hard times because your communication has been like a, you know, the biggest factor in your relationship right now. And whether you really want to connect with this person, it seems like they're too shut down or you're, they're too, they're too close minded, they're too narrow minded that all they understand and all they ever want to hear right now is just their own reasons or just their own thing. Okay, as much as you want to relay and you want to connect with this person, it seems like they are, you know, they're already putting words into your mouth and they only wanted to hear what they wanted to hear and they only believe what they wanted to believe. So what's the point of still, you know, explaining your side or explaining yourself to them when they have already shut down their, their mind and their eyes or their heart from the things that they only wanted to believe? And this just brings you a lot of confusion and it's already affecting your work during this week. Now, you want to reach out and you will be traveling back within the next two days uh, this week. And, um, you know, the much-awaited reunion or the much-awaited um, discussion, you know, that you will be facing each other. You don't quite know how it's going to start, where it's going to lead, or what it's going to do to you. All you wanted right now is just to have that peace of mind have a little breather and just prepare for the day or for that moment that the two of you will sit down and talk, finally. Now, by the time that you go back, it seems like this person, you know, the one that you're with or the one that, you, that you're currently dating with right now, will be acting in their defense or will they will be acting like they're the one who's the victim here or they're the one who got hurt. But, you know... And it seems like they're going to be bringing up some things from the past, which is, you know, the old betrayals, the old problems, old hurt and pain. And it seems like when you're, you know, when they feel like you are traveling or when you're missing an action, they always accuse you of being with someone else or having an affair. All right. It already happened in the past. But right now, you know to yourself that you really want to make this work. Okay, and you are starting to have a lot of 
depressions, breakdowns, you know, and um, you don't want to deal with any with any dramas right now. And um, I feel like by by the end of the week is that you were hoping for like a very loving thoughtful and someone who misses you so much but instead you'll be facing a tiger a tiger that's been like you know they are ready to to gnaw their claws on you and to you know to gnarl at you so it seems like this is going to be um you know like you need to hold back your thoughts you need to hold back your emotions it seems like this person that you're currently dealing with um whether you'd express your side or whether you would explain, you know, how you're really feeling and, you know, what's your take in this relationship, they're not going to hear you for your words, but they will be judging you according to how they want to see you. And that is a little bit devastating because you really want to make this work. When you get back together or when you have reconciled, you have that full hope or you have that full glint of hope that the two of you will be fixing things and you'll, you know, you'll be fixing your, your communication gaps, the things that you're not really, um, you know, both in the same page or it's like you're also, I mean, you have a lot of differences, but of course that you can both work on that and you can both, um, settle your differences right with the proper communications but with what's going on and with what's happening right now you're slowly losing hope and you're slowly you know like you just want to drift away from this person and it's slowly becoming more toxic that instead of you know like becoming more inspired and driven and motivated this person just drags you down to their drama and all they ever do is just accuse you all the hurtful things okay now i feel like this will also be affecting your work somehow and there will be a lot of things that will be you know that will be running through your mind that you will be a little bit preoccupied absent-minded spaced out or you will be not really in yourself you will also be losing your appetite and you will also be feeling much more sick in the stomach okay you will also be feeling so nauseous, um, chest pain, um, well, knee pain as well, kneecap, for those who's having some arthritis or rheumatism. You'll also be feeling like this. You'll also have a hard time getting up in the morning. Your lower back and your upper back will also be in so much pain. And it seems like you can't really, you know, sit down for a long period of time. You can't really stand up for a long period of time. All right, you're, you will be in so much pain. It's not because of your muscles. It's not because of your age. It's because of the stress that you're going through. And it's because of all the things that you are thinking and feeling so depressed about. You know, a lot of people think that stress is only a stress. But, you know, if you're not going to resolve it, if you're not going to find any anything to, you know, put a solution to it or to remove your stress, it could actually, you know worse in your situation or your health situation all right so don't just say it's only stress now for those who's with a water sign it seems like you need to let them you know have some space of their own because it seems like they also have a lot of things that's been going on in their own private lives and they're just taking out their you know their their burdens out on you now for those who's with an air sign it seems like you need to let this person be heard. And that's the reason why that they've been trying to get your attention is because they want to be seen, they want to be heard, and they want your attention. Now, for those who's uh, with a fire sign at this moment, expect that all the things that you've been seeing as a red flag signs in the past, it will come this week as a fact, okay? Especially if you've been feeling this person is lying to you, deceiving you, they hi they are hiding something, they're doing, you know, something right behind you, or they are talking to somebody online, especially with their ex, then you will be getting all the facts straight this week, and there will be a big decision that you have to make, all right? Work-wise, I feel like you will be, um, 
let's say you will have a lot of arguments with mostly air sign people okay and it's because you're not really working in the same department or same line of work but it's more of your co-workers will be doing a lot of things to you know to make you feel like you're such a loser or make you feel like you're not really doing your job you're not really doing your part well the thing here is you need to have a break okay have some time off spend some time with that person that's you know that's been missing you that's why they are acting so childish and immature at this moment and they've been accusing you of a lot of things but you only need to prove to them that you love them so much and they really mean the world to you all right so Anyway, that's it for you for this week. We are going, if you want to talk to me live on the phone and live on the calls, just go and vi visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. And by the way, you also um, you may also visit my new, um, it's actually just a new domain, sophiaclairvoyant.com. All right. So have a blessed week.